So first thing I always do is remove the four 10 millimeter bolts holding this on right here. And then also what I did was I pulled the yoke off itself. And that is, I think, a 31 millimeter. I always use a one and an eighth socket. Seems to fit pretty well. And I just put an impact on it. But I just went in with a screwdriver in the little pocket right here. Just pry it apart. Um, there's a ton of RTV on that though. So make sure that you go in, clean all this stuff off before putting it back together. Clean off that surface as well. Next step, take off this retaining clip right here with a pair of bent ones um i picked these up harbor freight you get like the whole case of them and uh i go in like this kind of pry it out and then i just try my best to evenly walk it out and what i end up with is kind of this right here and then i grab this pair which is flat and then i kind of get it right in here open it up and hopefully that's what happens Alright, next you're going to pop these guys out. They should be 15 millimeter, like the other ones. Here, down here, and over here. In the meantime, if you'd like to, that's a total pain in the ass. At least I hate these fucking retaining clips, but you're going to have a washer right here. And then this is this guy's gonna be back inside of there again. I just kind of went at it with this style and this style until I got it out of there. If you have a 96 242, chances are you're trying to split the case and just take it apart without having to remove anything really from the tail shaft, and you're running into some issues. That's exactly what I ran into. Uh, I have everything taken apart. Uh, the yoke is off of there as you guys have seen and uh, I can't get it to split. It would only get about maybe an inch and a half separated and then that was pretty much it. So that means you're going to take off, uh, first of all you're going to take off the cover that is over here all the way down to there right you're going to take that guy off you're going to then take off the dust shield itself and what I did next because I was attempting to just slide the whole thing out I pulled this snap ring out and then the one that was just an absolute total pain in the ass is this little guy right here um, this little retaining clip is actually back here on this groove back here and it is a pain in the ass. I used some just cheap Harbor Freight snap ring tools and one little trick that I did was I got right behind it with this clip or with this pick and I kind of put pressure on it so I went in from this way when it was all the way back here went in there and kind of pulled out a little bit and I took the tool and I opened it up and then I walked this around until I could get it out to right here and all our bolts out we should be able to just slide this casing off it's not the way I wanted to take this apart I wanted to split it and have the majority of it stay with this side and then let me which would allow me to get to the input shaft on that side but fuck it whatever it's not how it worked so here we go Take this off. It's gonna bring the oil pump with it. The shift arm slid out of it. So instead, um, I pulled the main shaft out a little bit, and then I walked, just slowly walked the chain off of this gear. It's completely possible, and it was it came off. It wasn't too too difficult. Seems to be a seven eighths, and that's gonna take your shift tensioner out it's like a little slug on the end of a spring assembly all right so more than likely you have tried to go in through the side hole to get the roll pin out of the shift linkage I um, 
tried to use an extractor. I tried to use, so like an uh, extractor. You guys can see it. It's all issued to shit. Uh, couldn't get it. I couldn't get it to bite on it. It's hardened steel, so even even using cobalt bits, uh, I there's some play in here. And if you take it, if you shift it all the way to this position, to what you see right here, where your pin is in there, your your roller, um, you can kind of pry it out, and the whole thing comes out. It's probably not the recommended way to do this. Actually, I'm going to say it's 100% not the recommended way to do this. But, but uh, it's the way I had to do it. I, I ran out of options, guys. So I've read a lot of other people on XJ and ZJ forums that uh, ended up destroying the case trying to get to it because they didn't need the front half like I don't. I didn't feel like doing that. Um, so... That's, that's what I ended up doing. It doesn't seem to have damaged anything. I mean, you're always going to have this play in here anyway. These guys are going to ride on the gears. My plastic pieces are there, but um, they're going to ride on your, your selectors. So I'm not really too worried about that. It didn't bend anything. I'm going to take this out of here. All right. Okay, sitting down. There's the culprit. You see I gave it a try. I put my magnet back down in the bottom to catch everything. It's an idea if you decide to, to actually drill it. Here we go. All that effort just to get this turd out. So I'm about to remove my shift lever. I just used an impact and a 14 millimeter. Uh, I took that off. So you got your washer. I'm looking at this because this is straight up and down. This line, the shift pattern is also kind of straight up and down. So that's how I'm judging it. I just took an old uh, brass punch and kind of tapped on it, got it through there. Some people would say you can put the nut on it, that's fine too if you want to do that. Um, and then once you get in there, you just kind of got to work it back and forth a little bit. I think it goes like that, yeah. This is the 242 case and I'm using the front half which is what you're looking at here of my 249 so I don't need this case so it didn't matter but here's what I did um, I banged on it a couple times with some blocks of wood and a hammer on my bench but I couldn't get it so I just set this up all the way to the gear itself and then over here I just supported it and then I just put a piece of wood over it and grab the a big ass hammer um, I'm sure there's bigger hammers you have so and just give it a smack and it took two hits and the thing just dropped right out so no problem